What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Rebecca Sabahi, here with Best Women's Boxing Show, period. And today on the show, we have the one, the only, Michaela Mayer, who is fighting main event tomorrow night, Friday night, at the theater at Madison Square Garden. Michaela, how are you feeling after our weigh-ins? Have you eaten yet? How are, how are the emotions right now? Um, I'm pretty chill right now. The uh, hard part's over, you know, made the weight. Fueled up, just finished the ESPN fighter meeting, so nothing left to do but eat more, hydrate more, and get ready for tomorrow. Well, new fight, new team. So you have Kofi in your corner now. Was there a moment during your fight camp, because it's been a quick transition for you, was there a moment where something clicked where you're like, we're taking things to the next level now? Uh, yeah, I feel like I felt that immediately. You know, I, I know it's hard to find a, a coach always, especially at this stage, and not just, not one workout can really tell you all, but, um, you know, I asked Kofi if we can train a few times and see if we clicked, and I immediately knew after a couple workouts, like, he was the one who was going to help me continue to grow. You never want to become stagnant and stop learning and growing, so um, I just saw that in him, and I just felt it right away, yeah. For sure. I feel like... You can be the best fighter out there, but if you don't have a good team behind you, you can only go so far. So through this whole transition you've been going through, especially at this point in your career, what's a lesson that you've learned from this? Or I guess you could say the blessing that you've gotten from this. I've always said finding a good team will make or break your career. It's always been so important. And I've had the same team for my entire career, you know, and I went out and it took time to really find those those team members. You know, mm -hmm. I moved all the way to Michigan to find Coach Al and, you know, I knew Coach K from the amateurs and I've just, I've been very selective about who I brought into my circle because, again, I know how important it is. Um, but ultimately, this transition and bringing in Kofi was, like, a blessing in disguise. I should really, like, thank Sandy, actually, because <laughs> um, it, it forced me to, you know, her coming to America forced me to look in other directions and I think it was kind of a blessing in disguise. It was a better move for me. It's a better matchup for me, me and Kofi. Well, thanking fighters, I actually want to thank you because you were actually one of the first fighters that I ever studied to get me into the sport of boxing. You, Christina Cruz, and the first time I ever saw you fight professionally was actually at the theater in Madison Square Garden against Nydia Feliciano back in December 2017. And I remember you walking past me and I was like so starstruck. I'm like, oh my God, I've been studying all her tape. I'm obsessed with her. And now seven so years fun. later, you are the headliner. So how does that feel? And if you can go back to that fighter you were seven years ago, what would you tell her? Man, um, yeah, I remember that fight. And it's been rough, you know, because I feel like everyone has a plan for their career and how they want it to go. And mine definitely took a little bit of a turn. I had to kind of, you know, I got redirected and had to re-navigate my way back. Um, and so it's it's been rough, but things may not always go your way. You just got to keep you got to keep showing up and you got to keep working hard. And and I did that and I created that name for myself. And now look at me, I'm getting another opportunity here to headline Madison Square Garden and get that belt back around my way. So. Um, the grind never stops. It really doesn't. Uh, you, you never feel like you've done enough. For sure. <laughs> um, but so and that, with that said, you know, enjoy, enjoy every moment. Enjoy every fight. Well, this opportunity you have tomorrow night is definitely well-deserved. What's the message you're trying to send to the fight fans out there tomorrow night at the theater in Madison Square Garden? Um, to me, this is like my redemption fight. I want to show that I'm still one of the best female fighters in the world, despite what my record may say. And... Um, I don't think that should define who I am and what, you know, where I belong on that pound for pound ranking in this sport. So I just want to go in there and show everyone that I'm still the best and I want to whoop Sandy and do it in the best fashion and show the best version of Michaela Mayer that anyone's ever seen. Well, I like to say, don't worry about the record, worry about the resume. And you are someone that doesn't turn down a fight. So I'm so excited to see you perform tomorrow night. Best of luck and thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. What is going on, guys? It's your girl, Rebecca Sabahi, here with Best Women's Boxing Show, period. And here with me, we have Bob Aram. Bob, how are you feeling today? Really good. Really good. After this weigh-in, after that spicy press conference we saw yesterday, what are your final thoughts? What do you think that outcome is for Michaela Mayer versus Sandy Ryan? Well, I, you know, Michaela's uh, been with us for her whole career, and so we're not only fans, but, uh, you know, friends. And so uh, I'm pulling for her. This is a tough fight, but I think she'll pull it out and win. 
I mean, she's fought a couple of fights abroad where she got the wrong end of decisions in fights I thought she won. So now at least uh, it'll be it'll even the 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 playing field. So she'll get a fair shake. So speaking of women's boxing, we have Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor. The rematch coming up as well. Can you tell me your thoughts on that? That's, you know, those two really good fighters. I like Serrano. I, I think Serrano is much more active. And, you know, if I had a bet on the fight, I would bet on her. If you could describe how Friday night's fights would go, what would that be? Well, I think Friday night's a better night than Saturday. <laughs> But, Why so? Uh, but, well, because uh, Saturday, you know, a lot of guys, married guys, guys with girlfriends and so forth, uh, uh, that's a date night. And, and, the, and, and the, the woman would rather go dancing or do something else uh, <coughs> than come to a fight. But Friday nights, uh, Saturday nights have been the, the nights that we've been assigned. Now we're in the football season, mm -hmm. and Saturday nights are for college football, and so we're on Friday nights where boxing shows always were. You go back in Madison Square Garden, a uh, whole history, the, the big fights in Madison Square Garden were on Friday nights. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and... It it may be a little inconvenient if you're in the West Coast because, uh, you know, it's earlier time. So people are still getting home from work. Uh, but as far as the East is concerned or the Midwest, Friday night's much better night than Saturday. Well, I think we can agree every night could be a successful fight night if it's with top rank, right? Well, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mr. Aram, yeah. and, you know, hope to enjoy the fights alongside you on Friday night. Well, you'll enjoy them. I think they're good fights. All, all the fights on the card, I, I went over the list, are terrific. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously, uh, Ryan and Mayer, uh, but the... Uh, the Zayas fight against the Mexican yeah. Sosa and uh, Bruce Carrington is one of my favorites and Shushu brings a tremendous crowd from Brownsville, Brooklyn. Looking forward so to Vito it, too. It, and Vito, yeah. Another fan favorite. So it should be a great night. Thank you so much, Mr. Aram.